Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how to personalize a wooden board. This one I bought at Hobby Lobby. The first thing you're going to want to do is to measure your board, grab your supplies. You're going to need scissors, a weeder. I like to use masking tape or you can use any type of transfer paper and I'm using adhesive vinyl. After you measure the the item you have, you're going to select the font you like and you're going to make sure that it's a correct size on the Cricut machine. Then you're going to cut your machine. You're going to lay all of your vinyl as straight as you can onto your cutting mat. After that's set on your cutting mat, then you're going to cut the, the vinyl. I like to cut in the setting of vinyl plus. Depending on the machine you have, you may have to adjust that. After I lay my vinyl, I am using a scraper to help me smooth out the vinyl since I am using a 12 by 24 mat. It is a little tougher to sometimes get it straight since it's so sticky. So I am using that to help me. It's a great Cricut tool. After your design is done cutting, you're going to peel it all off the mat. I like to personally have it all peeled off the mat before I start weeding. And then you're going to grab your weeding tool, which is also from Cricut. And then you're going to weed off from a corner and then pull from there. And also weed any center of the letters, like if you have any letter Ds like I do in, in this name or any Os. After you're done weeding, you're going to use whatever whatever preference you have for your transfer paper. I like to use masking tape. It's just what I had handy. And I also think it does a great job and it's something that's very affordable to use. It comes in different sizes, so depending on the masking tape you have and the size of your design, you may have to layer it like I am doing here. But it works perfectly for this type of project. I also like to use it when I'm transferring names onto balloons as well. The masking tape or painter's tape works great. So I'm just covering the entire design and then I'm going to cut off the excess on the sides. And then I'm going to transfer it onto the wooden platform I'm using. Once you have the design centered where you want it on the wooden structure, you're going to start with your hand pressuring down so the design starts to stick. You're going to want to use the scraper again to make sure the design, the vinyl gets adhered to the wood. Sometimes it's a little tough and you have to put a little bit more of strength into it, but overall it does stick very well. You can also use iron on vinyl and iron directly on wood as well.
once you're done grabbing the small bits and pieces if you use a masking tape like i do this is the final product thank you for watching